Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA, and in this video, we'll give a quick introduction to the high dynamic range imaging options in today's Canon EOS cameras. Recent models have multiple HDR options, and we hope this gives both still and video users a little clarity. Traditionally, critical users have leaned on high dynamic range image creation in the computer using multiple original images taken at different exposure levels and often dedicated computer software to create finished HDR images. Why HDR in the first place? Aside from creative reasons, the most common is to add tonal detail in the brightest and darkest areas of a scene, especially imagery taken in harsh, contrasty lighting. Washed out bright highlights and dark shadows can often be tamed in a finished HDR image. With today's digital cameras, the option to perform this entirely in camera can be an appealing one. While menu options vary among different Canon EOS models, many mid-range and high-end cameras now give two distinct HDR choices in their menus. HDR mode, which usually has a little multiple image icon, and HDR PQ shooting. They are very different, even though the ultimate goal is the same, finished video or still images with a greater range of detail. In this video, we'll limit our discussion to HDR mode only, rather than HDR PQ. First off, high dynamic range movie recording can be done when you're set to record video, either by selecting that item in the red shooting menu or on cameras without the HDR movie recording menu item by just turning the mode dial to the SCN setting. SCN in video mode will often automatically set HDR movie recording. Again, don't confuse this with HDR PQ recording. That's a separate way to expand dynamic range. With HDR for video, a full HD video is taken at 60 frames per second. Every other frame is deliberately underexposed by about two stops. The camera then processes the video into a finished 30 frames per second file with dark frame info used to control bright highlights. This can be an effective, quick way to get enhanced highlight detail under bright sunlight and other contrasty lighting conditions. For still images, HDR mode can be thought of as traditional high dynamic range imaging. Three original source images are taken. HDR mode is activated with the adjust dynamic range menu choice. Any setting other than disable HDR means the camera will take three source images you determine the exposure variation between three original still images, which are then used to create one finished final image. You can shoot raw original source images or any size JPEGs. A finished JPEG file with HDR tones is always generated in camera. If you're at less than full resolution for the source images, the finished HDR JPEG will be at that same reduced pixel resolution. And HDR mode for still images gives two additional menu choices. Continuous HDR set to every shot on the menu means that HDR mode remains active after the first set of three bracket exposures is shot instead of self-canceling. Auto-align images means you can shoot without a tripod Minor shifts in composition are aligned by the camera with a slight crop to the finished HDR image. And save source images means that your bracketed source images are also written to the camera's memory card. For stills or video, HDR mode can be expected to really tame those brightness differences. Two other high dynamic range recording options are available depending on your camera. HDR PQ which can be applied for stills or video, and the Moving Subject HDR, which was introduced on the EOS R6 Mark II camera and is for still images only. 
We'll look at both in future Canon videos. Thanks for joining us. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston.